All new at 6, authorities have seized thousands of marijuana plants from Hawaii's largest medical cannabis farm. Our Lynn Kawano has the exclusive video and explains why some say the farm is being unfairly targeted. Kerawailua is a controversial site. It's described as a co-op, but it's not a licensed medical marijuana dispensary. Just after sunrise Tuesday morning, dozens of federal agents with Homeland Security investigations, state narcotics officers, and Honolulu police moved in on the Kerawailua farm. A police chopper circled above. Law enforcement officials were executing a federal search warrant. The plants were pulled from the property greenhouse, wrapped in large plastic bags, then loaded onto box trucks. It took most of the day to seize it all. Care Wailua owner Jason Hanley's North Shore home was also raided, but he was not arrested. Hanley has been a contentious figure. Earlier this year, he showed Hawaii News Now the crop while lawmakers debated recreational marijuana. We have about 1,200 plants. We have 1,000 patients on site. Hanley called it a co-op, a place for medical marijuana patients to rent space and grow up to 10 plants. Often they can't cultivate at their own homes or can't afford to buy from dispensaries. Hanley said he's been working to change laws to allow his format. You must have the patient's registration number and the patient's expiration date on the card tagged at the base of the plant. Supporters say they depend on Care Wailua for medicine, but marijuana is illegal under federal law. It's just rarely a focus of law enforcement agencies. Where you have somebody that's unlicensed, unregulated, not under any control of the state, and simply operating a large growing operation. But as we know, the feds have turned a blind eye, so to speak, in states where they are actually regulating the control and use and growing of the marijuana. With such a large crop and no dispensary license, legal experts say they're not surprised that the feds moved in, likely acting on a complaint. A spokesperson for HSI confirmed there was activity going on on the property Tuesday, but would not provide any other details. In Wailua, I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.